All right, polynomial functions in factored form. So this video, we will discuss odd degree case. So odd degree simply means the degree of the highest term is one. In that case, linear function would be, the next will be three, five, seven, etc. So you get the idea. Now, talking about linear function, Linear function has one x-intercept. In case of uh, equations, we'll be calling it root of the equation. So the degree is one, and there is one zero value. Okay, so this is the correlation here. Obviously, the function is continuously increasing on the entire domain, and at least has one, in this case, only one X intercept. Moving down to cubic function. Okay, so this is the one x minus one to the power of three. So there is a one x intercept, but in terms of roots, we will call this point one comma zero as triple root or three equal v root. What that means that when you expand x minus 1 to the power of 3, you will see x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. However, when you set this equal to 0, you will find one real solution here, namely x is equal to 1. So cubic function, in this case, has three equal roots at 1, and this is also continuously in increasing function on its entire domain and has only one x intercept. All right, now moving down to another cubic function in factored form, we have two factors here now. So let's go back to the previous example. One factor. And the exponent here is 3, so we'll call this order 3. So order 3, 3 equal v roots, okay? Now, in this case, factor x minus 1 to the power of 2, because of the degree 2, so we'll call this order 2. And then one x minus two has order one. So if the factor has order one, then it at the x intercept it will behave like a linear function. So you are expected to cut through x axis when x is equal to 2. So the graph will be intersecting x line at 2. Now, what about when x is equal to 1? You're going to get 0 for this function, but how the graph will behave? If you can recall quadratic equation graphs, rather, you will remember, or you should remember, that the graph of quadratic function is a parabola. So you're expected to touch x-axis at 1, but you will not cut through. So what cases are possible here? When you approach to 1, you will bounce back and then cut through x is equal to 2. So the order here is 2, and close to value of 1, you behave like parabola. When the order of the factor is 1, then you expect it to behave like a straight line. So this is why you will be intersecting at 2, but only touching it at 1. So we will say that there is double root at 1.
where x is equal to 1. And then we have single root when x is equal to 2. So the order of that factor is 1. Therefore, remember, you're always, always going to cut through x-axis. When the order is 2, then you will be behaving like a parabola. So you're not expected to cut. You will touch, but you will be always maintaining the same sign on either side. Let's move down to the next function where you see three different factors. Each factor has order one. So order one for all factors. So in this case, you are expected to intersect through one, two, and three when attempting to graph this polynomial function. So going back to linear function, when the slope is positive, you start from third quadrant and you're going to end up with the graph in the first quadrant. So this is always, always the pattern for odd degree polynomials. You will start somewhere in the third quadrant and you have to end in the first quadrant. So your sign eventually will change from negative infinity to positive infinity as x is increasing from left to right. So attempting to graph this cubic function, I need to cut through 1, 2, and 3. So my graph will go through 1, then you come back, pass through 2, and come back again, pass 3. So th this is increasing function on entire domain, and it has three distinct roots. The last example that I want to show to you is very different from the previous one. So take a look closely at uh, e each factor. The first one is x minus 1. You've seen that before. So the, uh, the order of that is 1. But the second factor and the third has something unusual in it, has a symbol i. So that reminds you, perhaps, some of you, the existence of complex numbers. So this is the case where I have one real root and two imaginary roots. If you were to multiply x minus 2i by x plus 2i, the answer would be x plus 4. Because i squared, by convention, has the value of negative 1. So this is, again, a cubic type of function with one real root and two complex roots. And since the order of that factor is 1, so you will be intersecting with the graph through 1. Okay, so this is one real root and two complex roots. Okay, so this is it for this video. In the next part, we will be continuing talking about polynomial functions factored form, but in that case, we will switch to even degree. So thank you for watching and see you next time.